Some hospital workers want Minnesota's health care leaders and elected officials to help fix what they call severe staffing shortage in the middle of the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. The Minnesota Nurses Association says pre-pandemic policies are a big part of the problem. WCCO's Adam Duxter reports they say in order to keep and attract workers, something has to change. A refrigerator truck serving as an overflow morgue outside of North Memorial Hospital in Robbinsdale is just the latest in a number of indicators the pandemic has once again taken a turn for the worse. Staff there say they can't take much more. We need the public, hospital executives and elected officials to hear us when we say that the nurses are at a breaking point. Mary Turner and the Minnesota Nurses Association say it's policies put in place before the pandemic to reduce staff when possible. That's led to the burnout and shortages they're seeing today. Skeleton staffing models regularly using the bare minimum of staff to stretch to cover each treatment area have been implemented by our senior leadership to increase profits. And it puts nurses and patients in some of the most dangerous situations I have ever been witness to. And healthcare workers, in some cases, taking care of three or four times as many patients they'd like to at a time. COVID may have exacerbated this situation, but the health system leaders created it. They burned out a lot of staff before the first coronavirus case hit our doorstep in Minnesota. At Abbott Northwestern, nurses say they need to present a doctor's note in order to use earned benefits when calling in sick. And elsewhere, nurses say even simply increasing wages could help attract and maintain staff. We can't keep showing up like this when they aren't showing up for us. If you take care of your staff, your nurses, they will take care of your patients. In St. Paul, Adam Duxter, WCCO 4 News. Several health care groups are responding today. Alina Health says it recognizes the frustration of its employees, but will do what it can to support them. Children's Minnesota says since August, it has hired 550 additional employees.